I present to you guys the Airbus A380 Neo. We know that the A380 is a massive plane that requires four engines to function. But what if you decided to bolt on two GE90 engines to make it far more efficient and perhaps attract Emirates to order 100 of the planes? The question is, would it work? While the A380 uses four Trent 900 engines producing 77,000 pounds of thrust, if you times that by four, then you have a total range of 308,000 pounds of thrust. Now the single most powerful jet engine on the market today is the GE90, which produces 115,000 pounds of thrust. Now the 777 already has two of these engines, but the 777 is much smaller compared to the A380. Two GE90 engines make 230,000 pounds of thrust. Now clearly two of the most powerful engines available at the moment are not enough for the whale of the A380. To get an A380 to fly as quickly on two engines, would obviously require new engines altogether. They will need to be larger and more powerful, which does not exist at the moment. I mean an A380 with two engines could work, but the cost of a redesign would outweigh any benefit that you would derive from it. So realistically speaking, no, it wouldn't work. The plane simply wouldn't have the same flight characteristics or the performance as the existing model. It would need to have engines two times more powerful than any existing engines operating today, if the payload and the range of the existing A380 are to be achieved. Also, the plane would need to sit another 4 feet higher off the ground. A new wing spar would be required to handle the load, an extensive landing gear and a new retraction system redesign. So essentially, you're talking about a new plane, which we know won't happen. The engines would have to be in the 135 to 155,000 pounds first category and the wings would need to fold to clear the wing regulations on the taxiways and parking stands. Also, the plane would be another 90 feet longer than the existing wide bodies. So, it's more likely that the A350 and the 777s will continue their updates and see a peak design of 500 passenger seating. Given the current number of airlines flying, load factor per aircraft, range required and costs, orders would be maintained and avoid empty seats not being filled. As it is at the moment, the 777-9 has a full retail price of just under $400 million each, which is only $40 million less than the A380. The big selling point of these planes, however, is the fuel burn and the maintenance costs, which significantly reduce throughout the life of the aircraft. So in summary, is it doable? Well, from an engineering perspective, yes it is. But from a realistic perspective, no it isn't. The wings will need to be moved and redesigned from scratch, also, there are currently no engines big enough to do the job. As the size of engines get bigger, there's a point at which their efficiency actually starts to go down. Now, I have no doubt that it can be done from an engineering perspective, but I don't think it would actually be worth it, without considering that almost creating a new plane would be required.